الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على محمد المصفى وعلى آله ومن صار على نهجي وكفى إبان الله هذا يومكم يوم الجمعة أفضل أيام الأسبوع فعليكم بالإكثار من الأذكار والعادية المختارة ومن التسليمات والصلوات على خير البارية محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم لأن الله تبارك وتعالى أمركم بذلك وبدأ ذلك بنفسه ثم ثن بملائكته وثلث بكم عباد الله بقوله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما رغم صلي على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا All praises and adorations are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the Lord of the universe, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we praise him almighty. May peace and benediction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and those who follow his path, till the day of judgment. Dear great brothers and sisters in Islam, fear Allah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear the day that you shall return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Islam. Use the Ramadan as season that uh, you will reconnect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord. Because nobody can forgive your sins except Allah. And nobody can grant your request but Allah. And nobody can honor you with Al-Jannah than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear great brothers and sisters in Islam. Inshallah we like to talk today. Or to reflect about one hadith of hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the one that Imam Tirmizi narrated in his own sunan uh, from Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu taala anhu. Kala, he said, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Inna fil jannah tiqurafa." Allah subhanahu wa taala has provided some special rooms in Al Jannah. Special rooms in Al Jannah. If you can even get al Jannah with a special room or no special room, we can tell you categorically congratulations. This year, he said special rooms. Gurafa, special room in al Jannah. Tura, zuhuruha, mimbutunuha, mimbutuniha, wabutunuha, mimbutunuha. Baitu shafafiya, wuyutu shafafiya, that is transparent house, villa. Built by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are inside, you will see people outside there. It's not like our buildings here in Nigeria like prison. Eh? They take less, you are into, you are in trouble. Or your gen maybe have this issue or a court issue or something like that, you are in trouble. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you, you will be inside of that room. Rooms, not one room. Rooms. It's a good offer. You will not be seeing people outside there. Allah. And the people outside will be seen inside that house. And automatically made by Allah. They cannot see the people inside that house. But they will see the beauty of house. You will know, even this dunya, all of us, we like to be proud. See my car. I ride proud now. My car is better than this one. I'm no longer riding car. And now it's cheap. And I live in my tama. That's the way we talk. Look at my house. You may even like to call your friend to come and see. And now Allah says that's what we want in the dunya. And it was forbidden in dunya. Now in Algeria, we allow you to do it. Everybody will be seeing your house. Say, ah, this one is too much. I say, you are coming back from Juma, or you went to the market coming back, you will be seeing your rooms from outside there. The way it was well arranged. Allah. And you are inside also. You don't need to, through your window, to open window, or your door, you will see people that are passing. Some people are enjoying like that in this way, but they are only straight. You see them in their tower. They will see what is happening in the entire Abuja. Yes, or some of them close to the river. That is the way they do that. They will be enjoying it there. That one is not Algena. Because you cannot escape death. Death must come one day. But in Algena, there shall not be death. There shall not be sadness. There is a perfect house built by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Arabi. One Arabi is, they say, Arabi. That is a villager. 
Arab that is a villager is not uh, someone that uh, well and easily exposed. That is a color of Arab. The villagers among them it may misbehave sometimes because of lack of exposure. He said, Ya Rasulullah, oh messenger of Allah, leave me here. For who? You are telling us about the special rooms in Adena. Who are the people that are going to enter that room, special rooms? We want to know. And Prophet responded there. Honorable, he said, Liman al Kalama. For those that used to Mali utter good words, the people of Afkar, of Zakiri, the people that are reciters of Quran, and the people that used to make people happy. People will even like, they be eager to meet him. Because they know that he will say something. Not that he's giving people money, but he likes to use good words. And people will love him upon that. And they will like to see him and hear from him. That is Atab al Karama. He, don't, he doesn't insult anybody. He doesn't curse anybody. He does not lie. He doesn't fabricate. He does not gossip. Allah, Liman Atab al Karama. I wonder, in the month of Ramadan, you are still gossiping? Wallah, your reward is going. If Allah God can show you, like, repent, you will cry. Wallah. But you cannot see it. It's a spiritual matter of sin. Somebody will be fast. But at the, day, at the end of the day, they can show you your score, your reward. You will, you will cry. You say, upon I deny myself from drinking and, and uh, eating and having social pleasure with my Allah and look at my reward. Because you don't follow instruction of that uh, fasting. You are just fasting. Deny yourself, poor, and drinks, and you, you are misbehaving. You are misbehaving. Liman Atab al Kalam. Wa Atab al Tawama. And he fed people. Because the Rosa used fasting. He said he fed people with food, different types of food. He fed a lot of people. And Wadam uh, al And he fasted the Lord. Not Ramadan to Ramadan. Ramadan to Ramadan may not be enough. It's good, but it may not be enough. If they say someone that fasts a lot, is that person that fasts in the month of Ramadan. Follow up with Sistu Shawar. Follow up Monday and Tuesday. Follow up with Tasu'ah and Ashura. Follow up with Ayyam Arafah. Follow up with Ayyam Rebid. 13th, 14th, and 15th of every month. He is the one. Now that someone that is afraid, you see some Muslim now, now that I'm, 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 I'm uh, uh, how would I put it, like maybe I'm trying to insult them or to say something that uh, is not proper on them. You see some Muslims that are not into fasting. Some they are into. It may be tests from Allah SWT, but those that normally fast Ramadan to Ramadan, some of them they are already in the hospital now. They admitted some of them because they are not into it. It's wrong. A Muslim, after your Ramadan, you must follow up with voluntary fasting. He said, well, you want to get that special rooms in Algeria? Adam Asiya, you will fast. In Shaban, we fast at least two weeks, 15 days, or 10 days, or 5 days. Two days is not enough for 3 days. Adam Asiya, we wake up in the night, we will be praying. We will be praying, and people are, already, people are sleeping. And some people are snoring, and he will just be praying. He will feel it, and the ulema. You don't take it too much of your time. The old Allah said that this, this hadith can be practicalized in the month of Ramadan. Because we all fast. And that is it, obligatory fasting. And in the month of Ramadan, you be so careful. And that one is automatically because fasting, your fasting will rehabilitate you automatically. You may not like to look at Aram, watch Aram, no more Aram again. There are some people that are so many, so they, they be busy. They are their families, subhanAllah, watching movies. But in the month of Ramadan, they have already repented. They say, Allah, till after Ramadan. Like Allah, in the month of Ramadan, he is not going to be the same Allah after Ramadan. Some people have somebody listened to music before. Because of Ramadan, now, they say, no, no, no. Some people, they are into zina. They say bye-bye to their girlfriends. Shayati. Till after Ramadan, they say, if I don't want to even pick your call, don't even text you. But uh, see, you are still crying. If you can honor that Ramadan. And I would like to say here, there are some people in your area, you don't see them in Masajid before, they will come. If it happened to me as an imam in my area, you know some ladies, I don't even know that they are Muslim. And they came to the Masjid for Tarawih. When they are some of them, they were, they were just hiding themselves with one big job. I say, even this one Muslim? And we don't know. And they were children wanted to reject them. They said, we don't know that you don't want to give them water. To perform a motion, and I say, No, stop, just give them first. They are our sisters in Islam. You are highly welcome. Congratulations. If you can remember last Ramadan in the month of Ramadan, 
It means that Allah still has provision for you. Allah is still with you. Some of them will not even remember anything. Whether Ramadan, outside Ramadan or inside Ramadan, he doesn't care. I don't say they have come again. See mercy in the soul of them. Maybe some of them are better than you. Wallahi. Be careful. Don't judge. Just welcome them. I'm trying to read them that you want to be seeing you always, not only in the month of Ramadan. That is the wisdom. Wasallahu <laughs> nasu niyam tarawi. That one that we pray in the night, eleven raka or thirteen raka, is not enough. It's not enough. You have to continue. We are seriously looking for this this special rooms in Al Jannah that Allah Prophet mentioned here. You have to go back home. You will sleep early. You wake up again around two or three. You will stand. We memorize Quran. Alhamdulillah, continue. We don't memorize Quran. Take your Quran and read until you feel it in your leg. Eh? When you want to build your house, your bungalow, do you, you know the way you suffer? And you want to get al general just free of that? You will stand for a long time. You will use water to send away that sleep. Say, no more sleep. We've been sleeping and snoring. This is the month of Ramadan. We are searching for last Rama and you are searching for al -Jannah. But you are sleeping like women and some women are even better than some men. Because they cook, if not for us, may Allah SWT bless them. When we were shaking like this, some of us will we frown. In a way that if a small baby just cross, we we'll say, what is wrong with you? Are you fasting for the of Allah? And they will still enter kitchen cooking. May Allah bless you, ideas. Wallahi, you people are trying. I wonder some of them that don't know what they are doing. You don't cook for a husband. Or you just be cooking whatever she like in the month of Ramadan. The husband is telling this what I want. And he says, no, I will give you cocoa and cozy. Always. You see cocoa and cozy that if you take care of everything. And it's your husband, and you also you want a last Rama. Cook well for your husband. And that's what you are doing. It's a great job. And Allah SWT will not deny you or reward in this dunya and on the day of judgment. And there's no way Allah will make your children play, He will bless them. And the same thing where we were doing Kiamuli. And some weak men, men, they were dead, they were sleeping and snoring. And the wife would wake up. Cooking Sahura as well. They will not come back to you. They will wake up. Why are you waking? What's wrong with you? There is this time. Allah, what you are doing is not proper. They have much of our rewards. And Allah SWT will not deny them that rewards here in this studio on the day of Job. Wallah, well, reasonable women that know, they, they, that know what they do. Is this, a, this is a season that they use to please their husband. And once you please your husband, Allah SWT will be pleased with you. If you are even minister, cook for your husband. I tell you. Because you are under somebody. Don't engage anybody. If your Allah bless you, you have people that are cooking for you in this great month. If you are okay with your husband, Allah will be okay with you. If your husband is not okay with you, Allah, Allah will humiliate you on the day of judgment. Be careful. Wasallah, the lady one nasu niyam. You will people will be sleeping. People that don't, they are not serious. They don't want Allah. They don't want Allah. They don't want to be connected with Allah. But you that you know what you are looking for. You don't need to tell anybody. The two years Allah subhanahu wa taala, you will wake up talking to Allah subhanahu wa taala, supplicating, weeping. Wallah, you yourself, you will assess yourself. You know, you are not an ordinary person anymore. I'm telling you. That is the reality. Because people are sleeping. You, you are doing Quran. You are reciting Quran. You stay for a long time, for about 10 to 15 minutes in your sujood. Ask me Allah, Rabbi, freely. Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, grant me al -Jannah. And some of us, we don't ask for anything in this Ramadan except money. Money. House. Another wife. I want to check my, change my car. I will need promotion. Yeah, Allah, another bigger house, another DC, another connection. Uh, the big, the greatest connection is that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether you ask or you don't ask, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still give you. He has, not, he has already written it. What night you come? He said, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, not ready to give you. I'm not saying don't require for what it is, but the most important thing, la ilaha illallah, that is the kiyama. And then Prophet said, وَلَا تُخْسِرِ يَوْمَ يُبَعْثُونَ يَوْمَ لَا يَفْعُمْ وَالُ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ عَطَ اللَّهِ بِقَلْبِ سَلِيمِ He said, Ibrahim said, Ya Allah, don't humiliate me on the day of judgment. The day that our children, our money cannot even fit for us. They cannot help us at all. That is reality. If you want to ask for dunya, ask for dunya once, and ask for dunya three times. Say, Ya Rabbi, Ajurni min al nar Ya Allah, save me from air fire. But every day you are just asking for dunya, and you don't know whether it will remain just few days for you in dunya. What of that place? Yes, that place. You have to save something there. I said that your tarawih may not be enough. And some Muslims somebody escape it. And shaitan will be working with their brain, not currently. 
the Quran he has uh, Shaitan, he has worked with them before and he remains some uh, virus into their place and he will not pray Tarawi, he will not go outside there he will just be pressing food he will be looking at the door of masjid maybe somebody, another person like him will come out and I say, don't you see our imam? Wallah is, Wallah is too much <laughs> and after all he doesn't have sweet, sweet voice does he have sweet voice? Oh, does Allah care about uh, your voice? he said, I'm all about your iman they say that you don't be taking the long kunu knock everything he is looking for Jannah. He is asking Allah to give everybody and Jannah. And if you are against it, and you are gossiping, in the month of Ramadan, people are any rewards, you are any sins, in the month of Ramadan, shame on you if you are doing that one. And some people also group, another category of people, they will sit around with their imam and they will leave. They are sorry for Don't go. Where are you going? Can you go? If somebody can come here and I say, don't leave this center, all of you. I am going to give every one of you one millionaire. Even the one thing one among us, they will not go. They will still collect. No, Allah is sharing the word, he's sharing the armor. You, you left, you will not leave your imam until imam finishes his tarawih and kunul and you will not go together. If you leave, you need to complete your job. Somebody will tell me that he is going to wake up in the night, midnight, to continue with his own nafila. It's not proper. If you wake up in the night, who told you, who told you that imam also is not going to wake up? That is giving the, you a free of, free of charge with him and free of charge kunul. You will wake up God, but you continue to turaka, to turaka, to turaka. Salat ulayli, masna, masna, masna. Salat, salat in the prayers in the night is all about to turaka, to turaka, to turaka. If you have not offered two or three before, offer it before you run down with your waiting. If you have offered two or three before, just do your waiting. Some people now be telling us some, uh, I don't even know that kind of, of opinion. I don't know whether, whether from ignorant manners. Because there are some manners, they are, they are ignorant. That is the reality. They say, you now, you have already offered meeting with your imam. You will now go back home, you will now bring another waraka and say, Salam alaikum. Uh -huh. There is no connection between the first raka and the second raka. Where did, who will accept that one from you? After you have you left the masjid, where you are going to your house, and you've done, maybe you've committed, and maybe abortion is not even really proper there anymore, and you now bring another raka to connect with the one that you took in the masjid, it's wrong. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. So that this is easy. And don't forget, lastly, lastly, before you round up, you round up everything, and before taking your soul around 4 a.m. Because that is our duty, we need to tell you people. Around 4 a.m. is not the time of maybe watching movies and this thing. I'm telling you. No, look, we have missed nine days. Today is night of Ramadan. Before you know, you will see we come another member and we say we are planning for eight to come. Before you know, we will be talking about eight. That is, eight. that is the end of it. So that you sit down around 4 before your soul or 4 30. Ask the Allah. Just ask Allah to forgive you. Once Allah SWT forgive your sins, well, you are free. If we, he will give you what you don't even request for. What, some things that you don't even know, Allah SWT will give you. Here, in this day and day of Kiyamah, use a lot of time, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, even up to one hour. Ask thankful Allah. I'm not giving them by anyway. Ask thankful Allah. Ya yeah, Allah, forgive me. Forgive my sins. And don't forget to ask for your parent as well, and your family, your wife, your children. Ask for all of them. And if you want to be so smart, you now ask for the entire Muslim in the world. Both Muslim, Muslim, Mumini, Mumina, everybody. And Allah SWT will give you their rewards. And you know our number now, we are close to 2 billion. 2 billion rewards. Just overnight. Every day we'll be getting it. Don't forget, don't be sticking with your prayer. So that this is far. Allah SWT say, well, Mustaq Firin Abil Ashar. And those that is come and ask Allah SWT for forgiveness towards the whole time. Allah SWT say, I love them. And if you are into it, you will receive tranquility and you will be okay. Here, there is sadness. Allah SWT will clear everything for you. May Allah SWT accept this as another big bada. May Allah SWT be with you and grant your request. May Allah SWT bless you and bless your family. May Allah SWT bless Nigeria. May Allah SWT be, be with our leaders. Rabbana taqabbali minna nakanda sayyid al-alim. Wa tubali minna nakanda tawabu rahim. Rabbana achina fi dunya hasana. Wa fila akhrati hasana. Wa kinna azab al-nar. Allah minna haza dua. Wa minka li ijabah. Wa haza li juhud. Wa alika tukulaan. Wa la hawla lana wa la quwata illa bi. Hasbun Allah wa neem al-wakil. Neem al-mawla wa neem al-nasib. اللهم يا ربنا تقبل من صيامنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا وتلاواتنا وصدقاتنا وتفسيرنا وجميع أعمالنا يا رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد ما جئت أما وبارك اللهم وبدر الشر وبربر الصدر عزة عما يصفون سلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأ